Hi everyone, in this framework tutorial, the first one I'm creating actually, we're going to learn how to create these sticky navigation bar with uh, scroll sections and uh, making our links to switch uh, to their active states uh, depending on the scroll section in the view. So let's get started. As you see, all I have is an empty stack or desktop breakpoint and uh, just some color styles as a set to help me uh, get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a full width frame in this desktop stack. It doesn't matter for now. And uh, I'm going to make its background color light blue from my styles. While the frame I've just created is selected, I'm going to click the plus icon next to the layout on the right panel to uh, make it a stack. And uh, then, since this is going to be our navigation bar, I'm going to rename it to just now. Next I'm going to create the brand or name part of the uh, navbar. So uh, I'm gonna create a text element and I'm going to change some properties. I'm gonna make its font weight black and the color dark blue too from the styles its size is going to be 20 pixels then I'm going to edit the size properties of my navigation bar I'm gonna leave the width at 100% and I need its height to be fit content since uh, I'm gonna assign some paddings to the navbar top padding is going to be 28 pixels actually vertical paddings and horizontal paddings are going to be two times the vertical paddings which is going to be 56 pixels then i'm going to duplicate the text element in my navigation bar to start creating the links and uh, since my first link is going to be for the home section i'm gonna change the font weight to regular and then i'm going to clone the link element that i've just created to uh, create the second link text which is going to be about and uh, i want to create a separate stack for my links in order to do that i'm going to select both of my links right click and from the drop down menu i'm going to select add stack and then I'm going to rename the stack I've just created as links. While my links stack is selected, I'm going to make sure its width is set to fill and height is set to fit content. And then I'm going to make their gap 20. Then I'm going to create other links of my navigation. The next one is going to be portfolio and the last one is going to be contact. Then I'm going to uh, select the links stack and uh, change their distribute property to and uh, to align them on the right on my navigation bar. As we completed creating the static version of our navigation bar, we can move on to creating our scroll sections. So I'm gonna create another bullet frame in my desktop stack and change its background to dark blue to from the color styles. Then I'm going to insert a material icon component. So uh, I'm going to click insert button at the top left and hover over the icons option, then click the material. Then I'm going to drag this uh, material icon to the frame that I've just created, lock its aspect ratio and change its width to 70 and make its color light blue from the styles. Then I'm going to uh, select my section frame or background and pressing the plus button next to layout here i'm gonna make it a stack then i'm going to create a text element which is going to say home to define my section here and i'm going to change its properties font weight is going to be black and uh, font size is going to be 50 pixels and its color is going to be also light blue then i'm gonna uh, select the stack that I've created to define my scroll section. I'm gonna rename it as home and I'm gonna uh, change its 
height property to fit content and then edit to padding to be something like 250 to be able to uh, create a proper size for my scroll section we can start creating other scroll sections so i'm gonna uh, load the home section and uh, make the record changes this uh, this is going to be our about section i'm gonna rename the stack and then selecting the icon under the material icon component properties i'm gonna uh, type info to change the icon to something proper for the about section i'm gonna change the home text to about also lastly to emphasize the difference between the sections to change the background color to dark blue one so we're gonna continue creating our other scroll sections the next one is going to be portfolio the icon is going to be folder and the text of course is going to be portfolio and lastly uh, again i'm gonna change its background color to dark blue too and for the contact section rename the section name and the material icon also and the text lastly the background change actually I think we can use some more gaps between the icon and text in our scroll sections, right? So instead of town, I'm gonna use 24. And in order to be able to target these sections with links, we need to assign IDs to them. We can do that by uh, selecting our section and uh, on the right panel finding the scroll section property and clicking the plus button. We can just uh, define unique IDs for our sections. So same goes for the about. portfolio section also for contact as all we have right now is static elements uh, we can start creating our links so uh, I'm gonna right click to my first link in the navigation bar I'm gonna select create component option and I'm going to name my component as link and in the component screen I'm going to make the width of my link component fit content to keep the links width flexible and then to create the active state of my link I'm going to this plus variant button and this, this is going to be the active state of my component actually let's rename it as active to keep things clear and as a visual difference in the active state of my link i'm going to select the text in my active state and make its font weight black and i'm gonna select the text element in the first variant of my link component and on the right side panel i'm gonna click the plus button on the left of the content property and hovering over the create variable i'm gonna click plain text and leave the rest of the settings as they are so this is going to let us be able to change the link text in its component properties without creating other variants or components each time we also need to create a, a target property for our link actually in order to do that i'm gonna after selecting the default or the first variant of my link component on the right sidebar i'm gonna click plus button next to the link property and again to assign a variable to a property in this case link to the target of our link uh, all i need to do is click in the plus button and select create variables prop to drop down and since we don't need our links to open their targets in a new tab i'm going to select no for the new tab property as you see we can assign variables for these properties as well but uh, in this case we don't need so for the scroll as we need a smooth scroll between our uh, scroll sections instead of instant i'm gonna click smooth as i added uh, all the required properties and variables 
to my link component I can go back to the main screen and replace all these static texts with my new link component but first I need to make sure the width property of my link component is set to fit content also here to prevent changing the width of my link component each time whenever I change the text of my link then we can start replacing the static texts with our link component so I'm gonna clone the first link and change its text to about and do the same for the remaining links now we can start uh, defining targets for our links so uh, as we already assigned a variable to our link component we can do that within the link component properties so after selecting a link component i'm gonna uh, go to the component properties and next to the link property i can assign target for that link so i'm gonna do the same for the rest of the links since uh, this is a one page design with some sections to be scrolled i'm going to select the home page and for the section the relevant section for that particular link this is portfolio and this is going to be contact section so now we can test our links with command p shortcut i'm going to open the previous screen as you see our links work but uh, unfortunately our navigation bar is not sticky so uh, let's fix it after selecting the navigation stack next to the uh, position type i'm going to select sticky also uh, we need to keep in mind in order the sticky position property to work uh, all the parent divs or stacks need to have their overflow properties set to visible lastly i'm gonna make the desktop stacks height property fit content now we can test again if our navigation bar works as intended yeah and it works actually we need to also make another tweak uh, since some part of our scroll sections goes under our navigation bar we need to define a offset y property for our scroll sections to uh, avoid that in order to do that we need to measure the height of our navigation bar so i'm gonna temporarily change its height property to fixed see its size so it is 80 pixels i'm gonna undo that and for our all scroll sections i'm gonna add 80 pixels of an offset y property so it's for about I'm not sure about the contact part since uh, we don't have enough height for it to cover the whole viewport height. So we can test our navigation and scroll sections again. As you see, uh, there aren't any parts of our scroll sections that goes under the uh, navigation bar now we need to switch to each link's active state depending on the scroll section in the view in order to do that uh, we need to apply a scroll variant effect to each link so i'm gonna select the home link and from the effects i'm gonna select scroll variant and uh, instead of layer in view since we need this link to change to its active variant when the home section in the viewport in my tests i realized this option when the middle section of a uh, scroll section is in the viewport we can make the required variant change in our link so uh, i'm gonna leave the replay at yes and section of course is going to be home and while home section is in view the middle of the home section is in view change this links variant to active also we need to remember we don't want all links to keep their active states regardless of which section is in the report so we need to define another condition i click the add section to define that so when the next section in this case about is in the report we need to revert back to variant one state of our component i'm going to repeat this uh, process for all of our links so uh, for the about link i'm gonna click i'm gonna select scroll variant effect 
and again section in view middle of the section about and switch to active variant and when the portfolio section is in the viewport revert back to default or variant one so for the portfolio again scroll variant effect and section in view middle of the section i'm gonna leave the replay at the yes option and while the portfolio is in the viewport switch to active state and when the contact section is in the viewport revert back to default state for the contact scroll variant section in view middle contact and active since we don't have any other following section, we don't need to define any further properties. So now we can test to see if switching to active state property of our links is working. So when I click about, portfolio, contact, yeah, it looks like everything works perfectly. Hope you liked the tutorial. This is my first framer tutorial, but I'm thinking about making other framer tutorials. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to check uh, my other videos at the end screen. So uh, see you in the next one.